Hello, I'm Edith Neumeyer, and I'm the author of the book, The Mystery of Adam. I will not talk about my book today, but if you're interested in it, very interesting book, find it on Amazon, or uh, view my, my videos um, on the playlist, uh, which is under The Mystery of Adam. But today, I want to continue to talk about the New World Order. I have um, made a video not too long ago about Revelation um, and the New World Order. That's the title. And I talked about Revelation 13. And I talked about the beast out of the sea and the beast out of the uh, earth. And I have um, boldly claimed that this beast out of the earth is the New World Order. Now, I know that um, I'm opening, um, you know, a big, you can say, can of worms. But I still continue to believe that this new world order is this beast out of the earth that bows down to the beast out of the sea, which is papacy. So... Today, I'm going to continue. I have been doing some more research, and I didn't mention, I, I just briefly mentioned Zionism under the this these organizations that make up the New World Order. Yet, I have been seeing a film called, and actually is several films, I believe there are nine parts to it. And each of the films is almost uh, an hour or over an hour long. So you can find it. It's Europa, The Last Battle. And you can find it. It's better to find it on the internet. You can find it on YouTube. Uh, some of the YouTube uh, um, videos are deleted. So you can also find them on the internet, um, and I just put in Euro Europa, the last battle. Now I have to say, I don't 100% support these videos. They give you excellent information and really historical information, okay? They give you information that history books will not give you. So. It's worth watching them. But remember, they come from another side. They come from another extreme side. We hear one extreme side in our history books. I'm from Germany, and I got it very heavily from one side. Okay? Because this elite, this new world order, did not want German people to know about what was going on. Uh, during the World War or during the First World War, okay? First or Second World War. Both times, we were not supposed to know what really went wrong or went went on during those wars. Uh, and simply because we were the losers on bo in bo both wars. And of course, um, we were still, we are still kind of slaves to the Allies. So, we are part of NATO, but we are still not, we still don't have a peace treaty. So anyways, that being said, this film talks about and this, the, the, the First World War and the Second World War, and it sees it very heavily from a national socialistic side. So really, it's from a Nazi, what some people may call Nazi side. Or neo-Nazi, actually. So it's it's more really seeing it from the side, you know, what the German people that supported Hitler would see it. Okay? And, of course, that side is never shown in history books uh, because the victor writes history. We know that. But when we look at this video, it becomes very obvious who ran 
history at least since the First World or before the First World War. Okay, it becomes very obvious. Now you look in the history of um, Russia and how Russia went through the revolution and pre-revolution and you will see the same thing. Okay, it, it, I have done other research, independent research, and I come to the same conclusion that this new world order okay, was put in place even before the First World War. And it shows clearly, and then I'm not convinced 100%, like in these videos, watch them if you have time, because they're so long. Um, but I am still not convinced. And I don't like the part of stirring up. See, I went through this stuff with, because I'm from Germany, stirring up the population against the Jews. Now, during the time of the Second or Third Reich, as they call it, nobody had, or very few people had, a radio or television. All they had is a newspaper, and most people didn't have a newspaper. My family didn't have a newspaper, okay? They didn't know very much what was going on, okay? So my family cannot tell me, oh, this and this went down, okay? And this and this is what the Jews did. And then again, after the war, we were all scared to death to even talk about what happened. People were under PTSD, okay? My mom's generation, um, my mom's, uh, my grandmother's generation, they were all under PTSD because of what happened during the war. Nobody wanted to talk about the war or what happened before. But when I'm seeing it, I've seen the same thing that they did to the um, to the Kaiser in Germany, how they made him look bad. But yet the Kaiser, all he wanted is peace. Okay, He had no interest in a war. He wanted peace. And these videos again, again come out looking like Hitler wanted peace. And I believe it. I really believe it. I mean, after looking um, at all the evidence and they only show evidence, it really looks like he was stabbed in the back. He was really um, forced, forced into war, okay, which he did not want. So, but again, that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the New World Order. And how this new world order started even before um, the first first world war, putting things in place for this new world order to come out, and it shows clearly that Zionism is behind it. Oh, here I was. That's what I wanted to say. I do not want anti-propaganda against Jews. Look at me, okay? I am not. An Aryan white person, okay. Um, my family is not Aryan white. I can have just as much Jewish blood in myself than a Jew. Okay, Jews don't have a hundred percent Jewish blood. It's ridiculous. They're all mixed, especially when they come out of Europe um, during Europe's time, uh, especially you know before um, even. During the First World War, before the First World War, um, the Jews were really respected in Germany, highly respected in Germany. And the Jews intermarried. And I don't know what happened, but it looks like the um, communist Jews, okay, communist Jews, because I guess they favored communism. They uh, were very heavily involved in bringing down the Tsar and changing that system. And they wanted to come into Germany and do the same thing. And Hitler was actually fighting that. He did not want communism in Germany. So really who he was going against were the communist Jews. But again, they had a lot of influence you know, in the United States and in England. So I don't want to 
warmonger, uh, warmonger at, at the Jews because the Jews had really, I mean, the common Jews had nothing to do with it, especially the every average Jews, okay, that then later were put in war camps, and I'm going to call them war camps, okay, they were put in, I can say concentration camps, because they were put in concentration camps, and used as slave labor, okay, I want to say what it is, okay, um, those were the average Jews that had nothing to do with it, they were used as a sacrifice for the goal of what the Zionists had, okay? And their goal was a country, okay? A country for the Jews, which Hitler even supported. So, my subject is on the New World Order. How is that related? Well, this is all related because this new... Re uh, this new world order, and I mentioned that last time, seems to be including Zionism in this bringing about this new world order. Okay, again, we know who's behind the new world order. I said in my last video is that it is the beast out of the earth that's bowing down to the beast out of the sea. And when we know that, it's not necessarily Zionism, and it's not necessarily papacy, but it is the dragon that has been uh, working on this new world order for a long time. Okay, I mentioned it in my in my video that it could go back most likely further than Solomon. Okay, Solomon got uh, these ideas from his great-grandfather who may have gotten it from uh, I don't know other cultures okay which goes back to Nimrod Nimrod who was this uh, who tried to be this world ruler okay it can go back even to uh, pre-flood times because even their people try to take over uh, rulers take to take, take to take over the world, okay? And God destroyed them because they were so evil. Well, we're having the same thing created again. This new world order where only a few are in charge and everybody else is being treated like cattle, okay? Some people are thinking that's exactly what happened, you know, during the, the Second World War or after the Second World War, that people were saying, oh, Hitler wanted to treat the Jews like cattle. But that's not true, okay? Let's look, and if you look at this film, you will see that the Jews actually started with this whole propaganda against the Germans, and all Hitler did is react. Now, again, that's exactly what he did. He reacted. Maybe he was used. Who knows? But when you see um, these things about Hitler and without them being on this other extreme that he's a madman, a crazy person, an evil person. And if you really see um, Hitler, the things he did in his life, he doesn't look like he's a madman. He doesn't look like he is a, a, an evil person. Okay. So here we have propaganda, right? And it's not just propaganda that Hitler came up against the Jews. There was propaganda beforehand and afterwards against Hitler and the German people, okay? And all that ties into the new world order. There is supposed to be a small group that is leading um, this world. And everybody else is supposed to be cattle, okay? Now, when you read the new, uh, you read um, the things about Zionism, you read even Talmud, okay? And I have done research, and this is not just coming from this, um, these videos that I just mentioned. It's coming from various sources, okay? We know that Talmud treats non-Jews like dogs, okay? Goyim, Goyim is dog, okay? 
other people are treated even like non-human. Now, the word for human, the Hebrew word for human is Adam. Okay? It is being used in the Hebrew language today. Okay? When... Somebody talks about a human in the human uh, a human in the Hebrew language. It is Adam, okay. And anybody who is not a Jew is not an Adam, is not human, okay. So today I get a little bit politi- uh, political, and I think it is important that I do mention that. I know other people talk about this, and but I want to bring out my stance. I want to bring out what I think about this topic right now. I am not against Jews at all. I'm not anti-Semitic. Even watching these things, these uh, videos, I know it's a certain group of Jews that are thinking like that. And this certain group of Jews don't care about the general population because these Zionists had a chance to save every Jew, every Jew. I believe I mentioned that before, that there was a guy that was trying to save the Jews uh, during the Second World War. And I think he came up with a plan even dealt with Hitler about it for three dollars a person. Okay, three dollars a person. Can you believe that? The Zionists didn't want to have anything to do with it. It was a rabbi, actually, Jewish rabbi, that had a deal with Hitler to buy every Jew for three dollars. Okay, if the German people would have known about this. Every German would have paid $3 for the Jews. I'll guarantee you that every German had a friend that they would have gladly, would have gladly been giving money to rescue a Jew. I can guarantee you that. Okay? So, but the, the Zionists did not want to have anything to do with it. And they actually boycotted it because they believed they believe that if they sacrifice some Jews, or a lot of Jews, and that's even a lie how many were killed, if they sacrifice some Jews, then they would have a more advantage of getting their own country. So they didn't mind sacrificing some of these, you know, lower Jews. You know, the Talmud said you can't, uh, kill another Jew. One Jew cannot kill another Jew. But maybe these Zionists that call themselves Jews are not even Jews. Because in this case, they didn't mind. They didn't mind sacrificing their own people on the altar of getting, you know, their own country. Well, and it wasn't probably the only thing. Okay? They wanted a lot more than getting their own country. They wanted world dominion, okay? And they still want world dominion. And I'm saying, no, it's not just the Zionists. Remember, the New World Order only includes, remember, it's a, it's a triangle, I mean, it's a pyramid with the all-seeing eye on top, which is who? The dragon, okay? It's the dragon on top. And underneath, the, the dragon's little minion, and one group is what? It's probably, um, the papacy is probably underneath as big one, but the Zionists are underneath that, the Jesuits are under that, um, whatever the other groups are, are under it, you know. And then you have on the bottom, you have us, you know, dogs that are slaves that will do everything. While we have on top people that think that they are better, okay? And we've had that all our lives, people. We have that 2,000 years. No matter what a system we come out of, the, the, the common people always were regarded as slaves. And 
we think in today that we are in a democracy, but yet we are used. We are just as much used as slaves. So our government can have money and taxes. Now, United States was not founded on taxes. Okay, that didn't come later until the Federal Reserve took over, and now we having taxes. You know, to the Federal Reserve. Yeah, it is. You know, you think oh, we're not paying taxes to the federal. Yeah. Okay. Who we who are we paying? The IRS. Okay. Who is the IRS? Who's behind the IRS? Okay. So let's you know talk about that. Let's do some research about that. All I'm doing here is waking up people. And again, I have only I'm not even have 90 subscriptions. Not even 90. Okay. I am nobody. I'm nobody. And I don't know why my videos don't go out there to people. I have no idea. But I'll tell you one thing. There is something stopping it. I am have no doubt in my mind that something is stopping it. So anyways, but I don't have too much influence, you know, on people. So I'm just a little fish. So people don't even care about me. But I want to wake people up too. Um, there was the longest time I didn't want to say anything, okay, especially about Zionism, especially about Zionism, because again, being um, German, uh, we have no freedom uh, of speech when it comes to Jews. We don't, okay? Too many people have been in prison in Germany because they spoke out and they wanted people to know the truth. Okay, so yeah, it is pretty hard, you know, to to speak out about things. Um, you're always scared, and you know, you think Germans were scared under Hitler? Yeah, that's the way they make it now look like. Oh, you better don't say anything, and it is probably true. I mean, my mom told me, okay, you better didn't say anything about Hitler because they would come and pick you up. Well, I'm sure he had to protect his interest as well. Okay, but. The fact is that we do not have freedom of speech. I don't have freedom of total freedom of speech in Germany if I cannot talk or say the truth about um, the Holocaust. Okay? If I cannot say the truth about people do not allow to say the truth, we're not taught in the schools about the truth, then I don't have freedom of speech at all. Okay? Then you go to the United States. We are having less and less freedom of speech now. Okay? It's going to get worse. Um, people are already censoring what we're putting on uh, YouTube, censoring what we're putting, um, you know, on the Internet. I understand that you don't want hate um, speeches and, and hate, uh, you know, propaganda against any um, nationalities or people groups. That is not appropriate, okay? But when you tell the truth about something that is not hate speech, okay? It's not hate propaganda. When I say the truth about Zionism, that is not against the Jewish people, okay? The Jewish people are being used. Let's put it that way, okay? The Jewish people that are being used for a propaganda that they're not even aware of. Okay, then we need to speak out. And the same thing with the German people. German people have been used. They have been used over and over again since the First World War, after the First World War. Used and used and used and used and used and used. They're good enough for slave worker. Okay, that's okay, isn't it? That is okay. When, when Germany is a slave worker, that's okay. Yeah, they're doing well. They're not being, you know, they're not uh, starving. But then again, they're working hard as well. And they're giving quite a lot of money to what? To still make restitution for the Second World War. And guess what? Who's paying restitution to ger the German people for having everything bombed up? Nobody. Nobody. Who's doing uh, giving restitution to Germany? Um, or, or, you know, Poland for slaughtering German people. 
Nobody cares about that. Or Russia, is Russia giving restitution? Germany, what they did to the German people? And how many women they have uh, raped? You know, on the course of the, you know, the war? These people that were fleeing from, from the East, um, they were raped, women and children. Uh, nobody is giving anybody rest. Oh, no, they're Germans, so why would we have to give anybody restitution? No, but Germans are still held accountable. Okay? So, that's not what I'm talking about, and that's not what I want to get stuck on. This is about the new world order. There is so much more to this new world order. Okay, to this beast out of the earth, this beast out of the earth, that is not just the United States, but it is the new world order. And I think people are waking up to that fact. Okay, still people are uh, still thinking, oh, that's the Antichrist. People wake up to this Antichrist thing because the Antichrist brought up this false um, belief or theology about the Antichrist. The Antichrist did that. Now, who is the Antichrist? Okay? If you believe that the beast out of the sea is the Antichrist, the little horn, then you need to change your theology about it. You need to wake up and see who that person is, who this false system is. Because if you don't, the beast out of the earth, this new world order, will continue to deceive you. Because they have the means to deceive you. Okay? All these false flags that we're having are signs of this beast out of the sea because they have all the powers to deceive us. Okay? They can make us believe that these are false or that these are flag, these false flags are real. Or they are real, but that they, they are created by somebody else. For instance, 9-11 is created by this terrorist group who knows what terrorist group, okay? And they can do that because they can manipulate the uh, media and they can make people believe stuff that they would have never believed in the past, okay? That is the signs that the new world order, the signs that the beast out of the earth can perform. Great signs. People, the great signs are already here. Don't look for great signs like, oh, my, like your magician or something, you know, pulling a rabbit out of, uh, out of the hat. Okay? Look at the great signs. Look at the great deception that today our media is doing. And all of our media is under the control. Well, I shouldn't say all, but all big media. Okay? All big public television, radio, newspapers. They're under control by this new world order already and have been for a long time. Matter of fact, as long as First World War, okay? They have already used propaganda, false propaganda, to get people into the war, okay? To change things in Europe drastically. Because why? Because the bankers want to take over. Because this new world order wants to be established. Now, I know I don't know everything. Many of these things are speculations. Okay? It is something that needs to be researched all the time. But we cannot afford to be deceived. And the Bible says, you know, the Holy Spirit, um, God tells us, we don't have to be deceived. We shouldn't be deceived. We shouldn't be in darkness. When we read um, First or Second Thessalonians, um, you know, Paul is telling us we are not in darkness. Okay? We are in the light. And if we're in the light, we need to stop being deceived. We need to stop believing in these false doctrines. Probably most major churches are already fin infiltrated by the uh, new a by the one world government, okay? Because part of this new uh, one world government is also on uh, one world order is also religion. They want one world religion. I have been researching this topic 
for a long time. I think probably since the 80s. Since this new age stuff has come up. And I was very uh, researching very heavily into the new age and uh, what the new age is trying to, uh, you know, bring about. And this new age has just really, um, it's part of this new world order. It's part of the new world order. But there is so many things that go under it. And some people see something and other people see other things, okay? Don't just take, like, this Europa, the last battle, and take that as the ultimate. Because it's not the ultimate. It is seen from one person's point of view. But that person has very good um, resources. Yeah, and they're probably true. But you always have to see both sides. Okay? You always have to see both sides. So it's making the Germans look really rosy rosy and Hitler. Um, but it's really, really, really making the Zionists and, well, the Jews, because they were supporting the Zionists. And they were boycotting Germany before they even, you know, the Germans even did anything, you know, to the Jews. They were boycotting, the, you know, Germany. They were declaring war on Germany before Germany even did anything to the Jews. As a matter of fact, Germany reacted because of what the Jews have done um, to Germany before. And that is fact. Okay, that is a fact. I've seen that other sources um have uh, you know shown that to me so these sources are not totally pulled by the hair or uh, made up they're not those sources are available and you can see them so but anyways i wanted to talk about this new world order and that it has been around for a long time okay and I, again i said last time it was in existence even before this idea was in existence long time. Satan had this system in mind, okay? And he did it totally to deceive us. So that means he had to do something to hide it. And he has to continue to hide it until it is totally in our face and we cannot do anything about it anymore, okay? That's just the way it is. So, yes. We are right now, you know, people think we're not, but we are in smack dab in the middle of the new world order. We are smack dab in the middle. We're affected by it daily, daily, and it will accumulate and accumulate and accumulate, okay, until the day when we really cannot buy and sell anymore. Now, hopefully by that time that the rapture has happened, okay, I hope that uh, when it gets really, really bad, and that's my hope, and I think I have the right to have that hope, okay? Because I trust my Savior. I trust my Messiah, that He will rescue me, okay? That He, um, you know, will take His bride out. Now, I cannot see how, um, you know, God can continue to watch what's going on today. How this elite group, okay, this new world order can take over and use others as slaves and, and kill. I mean, if you know what happened during the Second World War, the First World War, all the killing that was going on. If you think about what's going on in the Middle East, okay, how many people are being killed, being used. Now, how much longer do you think God's going to watch, okay? If you look what's going on in Israel with people planning the second temple and screaming in God's face and starting the, the sacrifices, screaming in God's face. You know what God did? And we just talked about it. Okay. Uh, Josephus, what did God do with the Jews um, when they had a chance to accept the Messiah and they didn't? What did he do? He destroyed the sanctuary, or had it destroyed. Okay, that came from God. That didn't come from the Romans. Okay, don't be fooled. It came from God. Okay, he arranged that. He had the city and the sanctuary destroyed. Why? Because he's making a point that the, the, the Levitical system is over. He made a point. And he made a point being angry, saying, 
He could choose, I am done with you. I am done, done, done. And so what are they doing now again? They go into the country. God didn't allow them to go in the country. Believe me, he did not. That country belongs to Messiah. And they don't. Matter of fact, God only allowed them to go into the promised land saying, hey, you have to keep my commandments. They're not co uh, keeping God's commandments because if they would, and Jesus said that, if they would, they would have accepted the Messiah. And they didn't. And they don't want it accept the Messiah. They continue to be stubborn about it. So what do you think he's going to do? What do you think? You think he's going to be happy? He's going to say, oh, yeah, a third temple. Yippee. I'm going to put my glory in it again. You think he's going to do that? I don't think so. I don't think he's going to do that. Okay. He's going to be pretty upset. I'm not going to use that word that some people use, but he's going to be pretty upset. So there's so many things going on, and that's part of the new world order. Okay? That's part of the new world order, by the way. Yep. They want to put the temple up there, right next to the the the, the mosque, so we all can sing uh, Shambhala together. Okay? So we have one world uh, religion, and we can go up there and sing Shambhala and to totally ignore our king. No. And I'm going to say no to that. Okay? I'm going to say no to that. I have one king, and that is Jesus. And I'm going to wait for him. I'm going to wait until he comes. And that's what God expects us to do. That's what he expect, expected from the Israelites and expecting it from the Jews, that they wait. And I know there's some Jews that believe that, even though they have not accepted the Messiah, but they know they're supposed to be waiting for the Messiah. Okay? They know it. But I believe what's going on in Israel today is part of the Zionism. And it's part of this new world order. And who is going to be, again, the, the victim? It's going to be the simple Jews. Okay? The common, ordinary Jews. Because you know what? They will get the brunt again. But this time, Jesus himself will come. And we will, he will put an end to this misery and, and, and to this uh, false intention for this new world order. He will destroy it. He will be this rock. Remember in Daniel, this statue um, with the different um, metals? And the last one, and he hits the foot, that is Jesus. Because he is going to come, and he's going to just destroy, just destroy this new world order that is has been trying to establish for a long time. But I'm going to finish up today because I'm way over. I know people don't want to hear me ranting and raving, so I'm going to stop. But I want you to do your research if you have time. Uh, watch this Europa, the last battle. Okay, and take it with a grain of salt because it is very heavily, very heavily, you know, from one side. Again, it, it really, it brought me to tears. It brought me to tears. And they don't even say everything. Okay, they don't even say everything. They only say part of it. So, but I lost two of my um, grandfathers in the war. One, my grandfathers are lost in uh, Russia. They were talking about Danzig. Um, when the uh, Germans came back from Russia, German soldiers and, and all the people that flee, they all kind of went to Danzig and they tried to get over um, the, the East Sea into, um, you know, back into Germany because uh, they were locked in and they were put on, actually my grandfather was wounded, so he was put on Red Cross ships and they totally bombed every Red Cross, Red Cross ship. Now, his friend was not wounded. He got out on a little boat, fisher boat, and he made it. But the wounded that depended, you know, on um, medical and probably children and 
uh, you know, women, they were all bombed. Uh, the Red Cross ships were all bombed in the in the harbor of Danzig. It was horrible. And my other grandfather, he was um, killed in France. Okay, um, so. Yeah, I lost both of my grandfathers in the war, and it was horrible. It was horrible. Um, you know, I wasn't there, but I was told, okay, firsthand. So, anyways, I'm going to finish up today, and I know this Third World War will come, okay? It will be another war, but this Third World War will not only affect Europe, it will also affect the United States this time. They will not spared this time. So I want to finish, finish up, let the Holy Spirit guide you and people wake up, wake up.